subscribe and hit the bell icon for more notifications. Hi guys, welcome back to Best Way to Study. In this video, we are going to see what are like the complete details regarding JE. And again, JE is of two different categories, JE Mains and JE Advanced. This video is one stop destination for all the details regarding JE exam, okay? So for more such kind of videos, what you need to do is please subscribe and hit the bell icon. And yes, now let's begin this video without any delay. Coming to JEE, JEE stands for Joint Entrance Examination, okay? So what is this Joint Entrance Examination? JEE is the exam, it is like an entrance exam which is conducted for the admission of various engineering colleges, okay? So based upon the rank of your JEE, you will be decided in which college you will be admitted into, okay? So now let's see what is IIT. Many of the students will be even asking, ma'am, what is IIT? IITs are the colleges. Like, you know, there will be different institutions. Uh, so based upon your JE rank, you will be decided in which IIT or in which uh, engineering colleges you will be getting admission from, okay? So now let's see the complete info. That is the complete information regarding JE, okay? So coming to JE, there are two stages of JE exam, okay? So before understanding um, like more about JE, first of all, the main question is who are applicable for attempting this JE, right? So there is an eligibility criteria for attempting JE exam only the 12th past candidates that is uh, once you are done with intermediate second year or 12th class only then like those students are applicable for attempting the JE exam okay and there are also many more criteria which will be uh, which we will be discussing in this particular video first let's see who conducts JE exam okay so basically JE mains is the first stage of the exam and the stage 2 is JE advanced okay so once the students qualify JE mains then only they will be applicable for writing JE advanced okay so JE mains that is the first stage of JE exam will be conducted by NTA NTA stands for national testing agency and the mode of this particular JE exam is online it means you have to give your computer based test and the duration of JE mains is three hours JE mains will be conducted in three different languages which includes English Hindi and Gujarati and JE mains will be conducted twice every year it will be conducted in January as well as in April, okay? So why they will be conducting twice is uh, if you are 12th past student and if you, uh, if you satisfy all the criteria and eligibility categories, then you can happily go and give this JE mains exam. Now let's see what are the criteria, eligibility criteria for giving this JE mains exam. First basic criteria is you must be a 12th pass student. You must have mathematics, physics and chemistry subjects in your intermediate. That is your intermediate subjects must have mathematics, physics as well as chemistry. If you follow these both criteria, then you are eligible for giving this exam. And as I have already told earlier, uh, the JE mains will be conducted twice a year. It will be basically conducted in January of every year as well as in April. So if you are giving, students can give exams in both these attempts. Like if you are 12th passed candidate and if you have qualified, if you have basically had all the eligibility criteria, so you have, you can give the exam in january as well as april okay so if you if you feel one attempt is more than enough then you can choose one of these attempts from either january or april if you wanted to utilize both the attempts then you can give 
both the attempts like you can attempt the JE mains in in January as well as in April. Okay. The students who give both the attempts that is if the students attempt in January as well as April then their best score is considered and for that score rank ranks will be given and now let's see few more eligibility criteria points for giving JE means coming to the nationality any person belongs to India can apply for this exam like every Indian can apply for this exam even non-resident of India like the foreigners the foreign students can also apply for this exam and coming to the marks criteria in your 12th class you if you are a general category student you have to at least get 75 percent or above and to the reserved candidates 65 percent is more than enough and coming to the total number of attempts example let's think you have qualified your intermediate 12th class in 2021 okay so in 2021 once you get your certificate then you can apply for your exam and you can happily give the test in your 2022 okay in 2022 you can attempt both the exams like you know you, you can give out both the attempts like you can uh, attempt uh, you can write the exam in January 2022 as well as April 2022 and after giving both the exams the best score will be the best score will be considered and if you are not qualified in both these attempts then you can also apply that means you can reapply for 2023 for both the attempts and as well as and if you are even not qualified in 2023 next year that is even in 2024 you can attempt for JE you can apply for JE okay so this means you will give you will be given the chance of three years okay that means uh, the immediate year of passing from your 12th, 12th grade next year and the next year like the consecutive years will be you'll be getting a chance okay so three years will be your opportunity you can use it wisely and every year there will be two attempts so totally the student will be getting the six attempts as a opportunity so now let's see what is the pattern for je mains exam so coming to the pattern of JE mains, there will be 20 MCQ. MCQ stands for multiple choice questions. Okay, there will be 20 multiple choice questions, 5 numerical value questions means you have to type out those questions that answers. Okay, so 20 multiple choice questions, 5 numerical value questions. In JE mains, basically you will be having exam from mathematics, physics and chemistry. From mathematics, there will be 20 MCQs and 5 numerical value questions. And coming to the physics, there will be 20 MCQs as well as 5 valued questions. And, com and coming to the chemistry, it also follows the same pattern. It will also ask, uh, it will also have 20 MCQs and 5 numerical questions. And now coming to per subject, coming to, uh, coming to the mathematics. You will be asked 25 questions in total and every correct question will be having plus 4 marks. Okay, so 25 into 4 that is the paper per subject, the marks per subject will be of 100 marks. Like for physics, you will be getting 100, you will be having a uh, physics paper will be 400 marks, mathematics paper will be 400 marks as well as chemistry paper will also be 400 marks. And coming to the marking scheme, every correct answer, you for every correct answer, you will be getting 4 marks. That is, if you answer one question correctly, you will be getting plus 4 marks. Okay. And for the incorrect answer, one mark will be deducted. Okay. So, for correct answer, plus 4. For incorrect answer, minus 4. 
and if you leave the question unattempted like if you are not sure about the question and if you are not uh, wanting to get the negative mark and if you leave it added, then you will have zero marks for that question no negative marking and uh, if you answer incorrectly for numerical value question you will be getting zero and coming to the cutoff cutoff will be changing for every single year and the nta will officially announce the cutoff for that particular year do you know one thing there is something called je advanced which means the students who ever qualifies in je means only will be eligible for attempting je advanced okay so now you might have understood why i called je means as stage one and je advanced as stage two okay so all the 12th pass students who have mathematics physics chemistry can happily attempt je mains but only the students who qualify je mains only they will be eligible for applying or attempting to je advanced okay and guys do you know one thing every year 12 to 12.5 lakh number of students will be attempting je mains where only 2.5 to 3 lakh students will, students will be qualified for je advanced okay so now now you might have understood you really have to work hard uh, and your hard work will surely pay off okay so now let's see what is the complete information about je advanced okay guys coming to the je advanced je in je advanced there will be two different papers which is called paper one and paper two coming to the paper one you will be having multiple choice questions numerical based questions as well as match the following questions okay so coming to the paper two you will be having single correct questions as well as multiple correct questions and coming to the je advanced it is conducted by one of the seven journal iits which is iit roorkee iit kadakpur iit delhi iit kanpur iit bombay iit madras and iit guwahati so out of these seven iits any one of the iit will be conducting je advanced based upon their choice exam mode of je advanced is also online okay so this is also online based exam and duration of je advanced is six hours okay so for paper one the duration is three hours the paper two duration is three hours so totally the duration of je advanced examination is six hours and guys you have to attempt both these papers okay these two papers are not a choice they are must and should to be attempted okay so and other the other important thing is both the papers will be on the same day morning you'll be having paper one and evening you'll be having paper two and if you write if you attempt only paper one or paper two you will not be getting any kind of rank and coming to the eligibility for je advanced the students who ever qualify je mains are all eligible for attempting je advanced and coming to the number of attempts maximum two consecutive year any student can attempt this particular exam and coming to the age criteria so according to 2021 so according to the year 2021 the candidate must be born on or after october 1st 1996 so guys hope you found this video useful please like share and subscribe to our channel give one like and one subscription means a lot for us thank you so much for your love and support please keep spreading more and more love towards us and our channel so please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you will never miss any kind of video from our channel and also don't forget to like and share this video with all your friends on our channel you will be getting all the information and all the videos regarding mset meet and je so please stay tuned